This day we see angels and stars leading shepherds and magi to a newborn Jesus. <clears throat> you're fortunate you're here today because I've cut out at least a third of my sermon from last night, which I was told was boring and archaeological, so I will save you. I will get straight to the point. I was glad that somebody was honest. Anyway, it's a weird story about <clears throat> this, this virgin uh, talking about shepherds and angels coming from heaven to tell them about Jesus, <clears throat> the Savior being born. We didn't read Matthew, but Matthew has uh, magi, in other words, rich kings from Persia, coming to see Jesus, and they're led by a star. <clears throat> Don't you find that interesting, that dichotomy? Shepherds were known to be poor and unclean. They worked in the fields. And then you have magi who are filthy rich. And you have those two groups that God comes to, to first and second to lead to the newborn Jesus. I find that very interesting. The part that I cut out uh, last night, I will say only in a brief sentence or two, um, in terms of Jesus being born in a barn, <clears throat> research has shown, and even up until the 20th century, uh, shepherds would bring their animals in the house at night. There was a separate area that was down below the house, but it was still attached to the house, and they had a manger, which basically a manger is a feeding trough uh, that the, the animals could stick their heads into, into the main room, but they were still in a separate room. So that is likely where Jesus was born, in a house. In fact, in Matthew, we hear the Magi went to the house, which uh, dispels all this history of Jesus being born in a barn. <clears throat> the real, real point in all of this, though, <clears throat> to cut to the chase, is that Jesus is drawing all men to himself, people rich and people poor and people in the middle. <clears throat> Why is that? Because every person in this world needs a savior. What is a savior? Is a savior a life coach, an example, a psychotherapist? No, a savior is a person that redeems you and brings you back to God. And we all need a savior, my friends. He promises true life. It's ironic, Pope Benedict XVI says that uh, our Savior is placed in a manger, which is a feeding trough. And you know what the words in Scripture tell us, that Jesus says, I'm the true bread come down from heaven. One that is sitting in a trough becomes our true bread, our Savior. <clears throat> and what does he promise us this day? He promises us life, real life, a full life. He says in John, I come to give you life life to the full and that means a promise of hope that which, which we need so sorely in this world today so I will ask you and we will not belabor this anymore because it's pretty clear what happens on Christmas scripture uh, speaks for itself why did you come here today for me it's my job it would be pretty sad if you came and nobody was standing here right Rich, you would have to give the sermon or somebody else. So why did you come? Some people come out of guilt. Some people come because they've always done it. Some people come for, because uh, they just want to see the decorations, which they are nice, by the way, brand new frontal and, and vestments. But some people come because they're on fire for the Lord and they want to get hotter. That's the whole question today, my friends. Why did you come today? Because we all need a Savior. And I would, I would, I would posit this, that it's the Holy Spirit that brought you here today. The Holy Spirit is stronger than anything in the world. And the Holy Spirit is that which brought the Magi, that strange group of people, Persian kings, and shepherds to Bethlehem to see their Savior, a little baby, laying in a manger, a feeding trough, that would then, then feed the entire world and make you who you are. And for that, we can only be as the angels did that day, who penetrated earth and sang a song for everybody's benefit, 
and sang it back up to heaven. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to all whom God favors. Doesn't get any better than that. Merry Christmas, my friends. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.